So there is one trick that lets you solve any fraction really fast and really easily, and it doesn't matter how complicated or messed up they try and make the fraction, this will always work. So I'll show you what it is, we'll do some examples, then you're gonna be bulletproof for fractions on the test. I also have a free gift for you. It's a two week study course designed to raise your SAT score 50 points. It's got lessons, practice tests, everything you need. So if you're looking to raise your score fast, this is for you. You can sign up for free right down in the description. So one of the most powerful tools you have when dealing with hard fractions is to multiply the common denominator through the entire equation. And the reason is, as you'll see, that eliminates the denominators altogether. And the sooner you get rid of denominators, the sooner your life gets easier. Now, the easiest way to find a common denominator is to simply multiply the denominators together. And in this case, the common denominator is root three times X. So we multiply that through the entire equation. Then we just cross stuff off. Off, that's the same on the top and the bottom. So on the first term, the root threes cross off. On the second term, the root threes cross off. And on the other side of the equation, the x's cross off. And just like that, we have a very simple equation and not a denominator in sight. So this is pretty simple to solve. We end up with 2x equals 2 times 3. Remember, root 3 times root 3 equals 3. So 2x equals 6. That means x equals 3. Very nice job. Okay, this one works the very same way as the last one. Multiply the common denominator through the entire equation. In this case, we can use 4x as the common denominator. Now, if you wanted to use 8x, that's fine too. It'll totally work. All right, now we just cancel stuff off. So the x's cancel on the first term, the x's cancel on the second term, and two goes into four, two times. The four x's cancel on the third term, and remember, you have to multiply through the entire equation, so make sure to multiply the four x on the right side of the equation too. Now, this becomes pretty easy. Four times four is 16, minus two times five is 10, plus six, because we had six left over on the third term, equals 12x. And notice, we don't have a denominator in sight, so solving this is a breeze. We get 12 equals 12x, x equals one. Okay, great job.